What's up guys, this is Ryan from the Mizuho BBS. Well, Tales of Exilia is now out in North America and it should be coming out in Europe in a few more days, I think the 9th. And I got mine in and I'm going to show you guys what's, uh, what's inside here. So as you can see, we've got the box itself with a nice little, uh, what would you call it, pop out or for a certain part like the logo is and this thing, a little bit of Gaius. He kind of pops out. On the side, we've got the logo with Collector's Edition. On the back, nice artwork as well as stuff from the games as well as stuff you get inside, which I will show you. Let's take a look. Ooh. It opens up like a nice book. You can see all this beautiful stuff, the Mila figure right here and the stuff that comes with it. Let's open her up. Try to avoid ripping the box. So it opens up with this stuff here. This little box here. <clears throat> and an even bigger box. Professional. Anyway, this is most likely the Mila figure. In fact, yes, it is the Mila figure. But in here is where more of the stuff is. Like, for example, as you can see, we've got the game right here, all nice and pretty. We've also got. also got the soundtrack. It's not all the tracks, but it's a fair amount of, amount of them. This art book, see the art, all nice and pretty. But the one thing that the people who ordered the collector's edition really care about is this thing right here, this Mila figure. And I'm going to use the power of my nails to or he has the power of my nails to get this little sticker thing off and I will show you the figure and I will tell you a little bit about it. If you watch my channel you'll know that I do action figure reviews. I'm going to kind of try and look at it from that sort of standpoint. Sort of look at it based on you know its faithfulness to the character all that. Oh, there's tape here. But by the power of man, I can get it open. There's some tape here as well. You'll have to forgive me for being quite the barbarian. Usually I'm a little more careful with opening stuff, especially figures. I mean, this is just a white box. And of course in Japan, it was just sold just in an actual packaging, not just a little white box. But, here she is, Mila Maxwell. Freer. This is a DLC quest that you can get later on where you have to open up your Mila Maxwell figure. <laughs> no, but here she is. In all her glory. This is her. Mila Maxwell. Good old Mila. I'm gonna kind of shift it a little bit so I can get more attention on her. And zoom. You can get to see her. And okay. I'm new to this whole unboxing thing, but the figure itself 
You know, sculpting is actually really nice if you ask me. It, like the the uh, there's a lot of details with it. Like you can kind of like even like just the stuff that you could probably just paint on. It actually is sculpted on there. And her hair, it's all nice and pretty. And the paint job's good. You know, there's no blemishes or anything like that. Articulation is none because it's a statue. But she's got a nice stand as well, you can see. I don't know how zoom, there we go. See this little thing? But, yep. Um, other than that, I don't really know what else to say. It's, she's a nice desk piece, so you obviously can't play with her. Uh, Bandai did put up a survey where, uh, and where you could, uh, answer what figures, what line, like what franchise you'd like to see in action figure form, specifically DRs, and Tails was on there. And so if you took that survey and voted for Tails, you will help millions of fans, such as myself, uh, get what we want, because I like action figures. But this is cool, too. But, uh, yeah. That is, uh, the Tales of Exilia Collector's Edition unboxing. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. And, uh, uh stay tuned for more. We do have more stuff planned, uh, we're going to do another Symphonia comparison. I know a lot of people didn't really like that one. So we're going to do another one showing off more of what's actually different as opposed to just a comparison between the two. And of course there will be more down the line. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.